For me, blues is like a, a spiritual language. It came from the heart, like talking. What we play is uh, what we talk, like this. You don't have to play like a thousand notes. It's not wrong to play like only one note. When you feel it, there is no rule. I never planned to swim in this ocean. <laughs> My name is Rupaba, but my friends call me Abe. I grew up like with our old uh, rock and roll and classic rock. I listen to like an old band like a Queen, like a Deep Purple. Every time I put my cassettes on, like all my friends like, uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Yeah, I was I was so different, but I love it. Like the first time I tried to learn guitar is like around 2000. I love to listen to like, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani. Every time they jam together, they always play blues and they always play Jimi Hendrix stuff. Jimi Hendrix like uh... I start to dig in. Who is this guy? Like Jimi Hendrix. I went to the music store and I saw like a Jimi Hendrix a Woodstock DVD and are you experienced cassettes? So I decided to like give away all of my money. <laughs> First time like I, I played the, it was like a, holy smoke, what, what's going on here? Like, it was Red House. <laughs> yeah, Red House. <laughs> this one. Suck me in, shoo! <laughs> I was like, wow, I got it. That's my call, I mean. <laughs> Have you ever been to Electric Lady Have you ever been? Have you ever been to Electric Lady Something like that. <laughs> I forgot about the words. <laughs> I bought Albert King's record and BB King, Buddy Guy, Joe Bonamassa, like Johnny Lang, Derek Trapps, and Steve Ray Found. I fell in love with this kind of music. It really helped me build my guitar style. I learned how to build the rhythm uh, and groove on the songs. It changed my mindset, like. I realized I want to make a living with music, yeah. I got this kind of idea on my mind, like... Man, uh, I know you're appreciating those legends by uh, doing uh, their licks, their guitar licks, but you need to like uh, finding your own stuff, finding your own shit. I want to be me when I'm playing. And turns out like uh, in the last five or six years, I kind of found it. I don't know, it's like a subconscious because back then before I moved into Bali, I got my favorite pick. It's really fit in my hand, like we're like a uh, husband and wife. <laughs> but I lost the guitar pick. I still got a few gigs like, and turns out like, okay, maybe I'll, I'm gonna play with, without, without it. Like I'm gonna try. Uh, the first gig, it was something's missing, but it was fun. And then it's like a, I played guitar like over day and night, like a without pick. I got a lot of things like I couldn't do before. 
like a like this yeah like without guitar pick like a, for me it's cool like almost six years without pick like man I don't think I need it anymore <laughs> Every time I play solo, like even like for the same song in the different gigs, I will play a different melody, I will play a different note. I never plan it, I just like follow whatever my soul brings me. I just like, okay, I follow you, my fingers like, <laughs> they goes here, okay, I follow you, they goes there, like, I follow you guys, like, yeah, I never plan it. I just want to enjoy every time I play. Like, You're not just playing music, man. I don't know. It's it's like a, you're praying into something, to uh, to universe, to whatever spirit or whatever it is. Like a that's why a lot of uh, blues player when they play blues close their eyes because it's like a spiritual thing. It's like better when you close your eyes and you get like a melt into one with whatever it is. Like it, yeah, it's so hard to describe, but now you got it right. <laughs>